Hello and welcome to Louis Times. I am Kangana Sharma and now let's have a look at today's top 10 news that created headlines. The Congress's 11th hour early morning decision on Amethi and Raibareli contained a big twist. Rahul Gandhi, who was expected to make an all-out bid to win Amethi back, has been announced as a party candidate from Raibareli, the seat vacated recently by his mother Sonia Gandhi when she moved to Rajya Sabha. Bharat Biotech the vaccine maker that developed Covaxin said that the vaccine was developed with focus on safety. The company said that Covaxin was the only COVID-19 vaccine to have conducted efficacy trials in India. Vice Admiral Krishna Swaminathan on first May took charge as Vice Chief of the Indian Navy. He was earlier serving as the Chief of Personnel. India has voiced hope that Palestine's bid to become a full member of the United Nations, which was blocked by the US last month, will be reconsidered and its endeavor to become a member of the World Organization will get endorsed. A picturesque Gothic castle in Ukraine, popularly known as the Harry Potter Castle, was destroyed by a Russian missile attack on Wednesday that also killed four people. The missile attack on the southern Ukrainian city of Odessa injured 30 others, including two children and a pregnant woman. Nearly 20 residential buildings and infrastructure facilities were also damaged. In a significant revelation, a high-ranking Pentagon official has said that U.S. believes Russia is preparing to deploy a nuclear weapon in space and Washington is concerned as it has not been able to dissuade them from doing so. Assistant Defense Secretary for Space Policy John Plum said that such an indiscriminate weapon would endanger all satellites and critical global infrastructure. Days after severe flooding in April, heavy rains and thunderstorms struck Abu Dhabi and Dubai early Thursday, causing flight cancellations and bus service suspension in Dubai. Five inbound flights to Dubai were diverted overnight while nine arrivals were cancelled. The country's weather department issued an alert indicating that rain-bearing clouds had covered most parts of the country. Maldives Foreign Minister Musa Zamir will visit India next week, likely on May 9th, marking the first high-level visit since President Mohammad Mizu took office last year. The visit aims to discuss potential future trips and seek a soft approach from India regarding loan repayments. His visit coincides with India's Lok Sabha polls and Maldives' deadline for India to remove its troops. The White House has defended President Joe Biden's remarks calling India, Japan, Russia, China as xenophobic nations, highlighting that U.S. is a country that welcomes immigrants unlike these. In response to Western sanctions, Iran imposed retaliatory sanctions on American and British individuals and entities for supporting Israel's actions against Palestinians. The sanctions target companies and individuals involved in Israel's terrorist acts and human rights violation. Iran accuses the sanctioned entities of aiding Israel in its attacks on the regional peace and security.